King Charles is set to have a coronation service rooted in tradition as he is ceremonially crowned alongside his wife, the Queen Consort. While the event will be a celebration of the continuing monarchy, the occasion will also be steeped in a deep somber tone as King Charles reflects on his new role and the responsibilities that have fallen to him following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. While royal sources have suggested the king is set to have a more toned-down coronation in light of the cost-of-living crisis, royal commentator Sarah Hewson said the event would still have room for pageantry. Speaking on Talk TV, the royal editor said, We now know when it is, May 6, 2023. It is going to take place in Westminster Abbey, that is a tradition for coronations dating back 900 years. The ceremony will be conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury, as it has been since 1066. It is going to be a ceremony rooted in traditions, long-standing traditions, but also reflecting the monarch's role today and looking ahead to the future, we're told by the palace. Deeply religious, somber and solemn in parts, but, there will also be occasion for celebration and pageantry. Explaining the traditional elements of the coronation ceremony, Ms. Hewson continued. He is going to be anointed with oil, he is going to be blessed. He will be presented with the orb, the coronation ring, the scepter, the instruments of state he will be crowned with. That will be a very symbolic moment, when we first see him with that crown on his head, the St. Edward's crown, it's been used for coronations since the 13th century. King Charles will be crowned alongside his wife Camilla, the Queen Consort, a decision made by the monarch himself. Buckingham Palace confirmed the coronation date on Tuesday evening, after much speculation surrounding when the spring ceremony would take place. An official statement released by the palace read, the coronation will reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry. There had been suggestions the coronation could mark a nationwide bank holiday, although the chosen date falls on a Saturday and there is already a bank holiday scheduled for Monday 1st May. There had also been previous rumors that the new king would choose the 2nd June in tribute to his mother as the date marks the anniversary of the coronation service for Queen Elizabeth II. Don't miss, Buckingham Palace stated further details for the coronation would follow in due course as the king reportedly aims to restrict lavish elements of the ceremony amid the difficult economic climate within the UK. Notably, the coronation will fall on the fourth birthday of Archie Mountbatten Windsor, the eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made public appearances throughout the 10-day mourning period for Queen Elizabeth II and attended the state funeral service. However, the couple have been known to forego other royal events, such as the Thanksgiving service for Prince Philip, and their attendance at the King's coronation is not yet guaranteed. Read next.